John numbers. I couldn't tell you anything else. Yeah, there's only a <laughs> few. There's like John numbers, uh, Lee Twerk, uh, Wadi has one. Um, Captain Zach has one actually too. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. He stopped the nest on this dude. Um, but yeah, Olimar, I don't really know what to say. I mean, you just, as long as you know your Pikmin order, you'll do fine, I guess. I just don't know what to say about it. So, as someone who has been manhandled by this character for the last decade or so, um, Olimar, sometimes, especially in this game, just doesn't work. Like, sometimes he throws out a smash, and then it just doesn't happen. Sometimes he throws an aerial, and the Pikmin are lined up. So the character, by its nature, is very inconsistent. So one of the things that um, a lot of Almars like to go for is like a non-interactive play style, in which they kind of play their game and hope that you don't get to get their support, hope that you don't get your own game started. So that's something that Joe is very good at, just kind of playing his game and getting his own game started. But Logic, tonight, He's playing really well, and he has a good lineup to keep his play style going. Two purples yeah. buys you a lot of space. That was, I don't know if that was intentional, but he like threw a pick him. Siegel punched it, and he just got a free grab. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know if that's an Olimar thing. I'm pretty sure Chat knows. Yeah, it's an Olimar thing. You see Shutan and uh, Myron go for that a lot. Uh, go for something with Clanks, and because the Pikmin have like item priority pretty much, you can usually get a punish afterwards depending on what, you know, what moves happen. I thought this guy would just do stuff. He, he, he does. Yeah, well, yeah. But there's a lot of stuff <laughs> in that throw. At least uh, sometimes it can be clutch with the uh, down B on like, the armor. Oh my god, gets a pivot grab. Just walks up. I mean, the, the run did look like a walk, but he just did it. Uh, purple, two purples out. I know that's that's danger. That spells danger. That's all I know. Yeah, this, as far as danger goes, this is probably the most dangerous lineup. The blue will kill with a throw, as Logic just tried to do right there. And purples, most aerials will kill, especially if Logic is that back or almost anywhere on the stage. Seems like he's just protecting himself with the, the purple, just throwing them out, getting them back, rinse, repeat. And he cycles through the lineup too by sometimes doing an aerial auto cancel into another attack to get the pick that he wants. Now, thank goodness I've never had to face Nalmar, because this seems... Oh my goodness, this seems very, like... Oppressive? Uh, like, just depressing for Sonic. Like, he just... He seems like he struggles. You know, he has to deal with Pikmin, and then... You gotta watch out for that down, down throw, I believe. Um, and then Purple... It, it's just, if you don't know anything about Nalmar, this is very... It's hazardous. Oh, did you play Brawl? I did play Bro. Okay. I know he had like six of them, but no one in my family ever played it. I played Ike. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Sonic. Yeah. So, in Brawl, this character used to be able to do way more of everything he's doing right now, but better. He would just control more space, and you just couldn't really touch him a lot of times. If he didn't have a tether recovery, he might have been like top three. That's crazy. Some people still think he might be top three. He's a very strong character. But um, I was about to say that. Yeah, the point is, Sequel Joe, a brawl veteran, knows how Almar works. It's just that he's getting outplayed here. Logic's playing very nicely. Yeah, I know he's showing why uh, you know you can't really sleep on untapped potential. You know, I thought he was joking when he's like, "Yeah, I'm an Almar player." You know, uh, yeah. I mean, I okay, I've seen Logic, but I've never took the time to be like, hmm, who's this guy playing? Oh man, Logic is actually both these guys are kind of brawl history out here in NBA. Like, yeah. Um, Joe was a very strong brawl player, but like there was a time where Logic was the best in NBA in brawl, and NBA was considered a powerhouse region in this game or in brawl. Yeah, I know uh, Siegel used. I think he used Falco. He's Wolf. He yeah, or oh, Wolf. Yeah. He hates Wolf. Falco. <laughs> That's who the character is. Wolf. Um, and because. And he did go to Smash Con, and he did really well. He got fifth or fourth? Yeah, I think he, he lost to Nairo. Um, Nairo and, um, shoot, I can't remember the guy who lost. Cody? Was it Cody? I can't remember. He <laughs> lost to a Falcon, yeah. Oh, man, he still has not died. And think about this, we're coming close to time. That, that's something you would say on Siegel's case. Not... Like, the endurance that Logic has for this match is just amazing. Doesn't get the tech, but I'm pretty sure it won't matter unless Siegel just pulls out a crazy string and just goes hand. Oh, my God. 
I was expecting. I'm pretty sure uh, he's gonna go for that down throw again. Uh, that. Oh no, back throw. Yeah, up throw wouldn't have killed right there because uh, he didn't have any ratio. Oh, but now no down throw. Oh man. Yep. <sighs> That's a very. That seems very annoying. I. C I do not envy. Siegel. Well, the thing is about this matchup is that whoever has the lead is winning, which I know sounds stupid when I say it out loud, but <laughs> having the lead changes the entire dynamic of the matchup because that's who has to approach. Olimar's approach options aren't that strong in general. Uh, Sonic's approach options are good, but they are amazing. It's very limited. Very yeah. limited. Well, they're like, he has a lot of them, but like they all kind of lose to the yeah, same thing. <laughs> he has like eight moves that turn him into a ball. Yeah, it's so like Logic would just be able to like pivot grab or like up smash a lot. Yeah, and then the different uh, options with the Pikmin is also a factor, as I've seen. But he's options for the Greninja? He swears he's nice for this character. <laughs> I mean, by looking at that, I would have, I would have switched too. I mean, now it's just water shrieking. Okay. Yeah. So I mean. I've actually never really seen this match. Well, I've seen it, but like in 2015, so it's been a long time. But in general, I feel like Greninja has the tools to stick with all, or stick on the Alma, which is nice. But the problem is he starts to get in, and he only has a few disjoints like that are relevant and neutral. He does have the Shuriken, but how much can he really do with that? Well, like he picked Greninja. I mean, just I don't know if he, how similar he is to Sonic. I mean, besides the obvious <laughs> but um very interesting pick you know he could have just you know just sold out and just pick cloud and do whatever but he's here for a reason it's loose for this he didn't just get up here because of some cloud but uh this is very interesting to see uh winner of this goes on I'm pretty sure he faces uh see that no not bash he's still in. Yeah. I mean we'll see Joe oh, Jojo. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. So, I mean, both these guys really want to make it there, but Joe has to clean up the Greninja a little bit more to make it in. But right now, he's just getting absolutely stonewalled out. I yeah. mean, I cannot even get a word. I mean, it's just, I'm not saying it's a body bag, but the last game, he at least had 90% before he died. Uh, I mean, it's not like... <laughs> I mean, what can you say? <laughs> we, I'm not the most, I'm not the uh, all more expert, Ooh. but wait a minute. We have a sh uh, shift of momentum here. I think he's starting to figure it out what he needs to do. Get, get him off stage. That recovery is very, uh, very linear. Oh man, oh, the a trade. trade. Yeah, and although, lot, or although Seagull Joe lost his stock, it's kind of a good trade, I think, because he made up for a lot of damage, and Greninja, uh, without Rage, can probably get a down tilt up smash with uh, this. And you saw Joe go for it right there. Not quite landed, but it's still on the table, as long as it doesn't take too much damage. I think uh, the, better, the more the multi-hits he has, the better. The Sonic he doesn't really have any uh, that many multi-hits. I feel like it's just fair and up air. But Greninja, yeah, up air, back air. Yeah, uh, the water shuriken. Just to get those Pikmin. Just to deal with those Pikmin. And um, I think that's the one thing he didn't, you know, couldn't figure out just how to deal with it. As many times as I imagine these two players have played many times. So, Thou probably thousands of times. They've been playing for like probably Oh my years. God. And that's spacing. something. Well, not just spacing. There's something that Logic hates about this character and the qualities that Pikmin have. So because a Pikmin was attached to uh, Seagull, when he forward smashed, the hitbox was extended. And the, because of that, the timing for the neutral getup was caught. So Logic pretty much lost that because he tried to get extra damage. The, the Wario effect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Wario with the bike. I did notice that earlier, Logic did try to go for a really hard uh, read on the F smash, seeing that he had purple. I was thinking if Purple probably would have killed Greninja at 50 or 60. With uh, a smash? Yeah, with the purple Pikmin F smash. Oh, oh yep. Oh. Logic is very good at oh. doing that. Very good at doing that. And if you don't have a hitbox to cover you, 